before you purchase a wood burner, or even if you already have a wood burner, it's good to know the differences between each wood burner. There are some wood burners that are better than others. So what I'm gonna to cover today, what's the difference between the different wood burners, why are some better than others, and what are some basic things to know about a wood burner. So wood burners range from the cheap end of like $20 to expensive wood burners that can cost up to two, three, four hundred dollars And it really depends on what you are trying to do with a wood burner and the capabilities each wood burner has that will help you decide, okay, what burner is right for me. Now the cheap end of the wood burners is a wood burner like this. Um, this wood burner you can get at like a Hobby Lobby or a Walmart for about $25, $30. The more expensive side uh, would be a wood burner like this. This is a coal wood detailer, and I think this costs about $100, $150. There's also some more expensive wood burners, but for the sake of this video, we're not gonna discuss those. The pros of a cheaper wood burner is that it's just that, it's cheaper. You don't have to spend a lot of money up front to try to figure out, okay, do I like wood burning? You know, is it worth it? Am I any good? You know, and you don't have to do any of that. You can get a $20 wood burner and try your hand in it. See if you like it, see if you're any good. The downside of a cheaper wood burner is one, it won't get as quite as hot as a more expensive wood burner. May or may not be a problem depending on the type of wood you're burning on. And we'll discuss the different types of wood, but if you're burning on a softer wood, you don't really need that as much heat. But if you're trying to burn on a lot of hardwoods, you're, that, that extra heat is going to be helpful to get more detail into your piece. Also a con for a cheaper wood burner is that it takes about 10 minutes to heat up and cool down, which can be a common hassle, especially when you're trying to replace tips often. All right, so now for the more expensive wood burner. Obviously the con is gonna be that it's expensive. You're gonna to have to invest in the burner, but there are some nice pros such as that it does heat up almost in instantaneously. There's also a variety of tips that you can get and a lot more diversity in the tips to, compared to the cheap $20 wood burner. And the wood burner itself um, uh, obviously gets a lot hotter, so you can burn on those harder woods. It just can handle a lot more hours of burning. I've wood burned with this wood burner for years and it's not ever caused me any problems. A cheaper wood burner is going to break down and eventually stop working at a certain point. So those are kind of some general pros and cons of a really cheap burner versus more expensive burner. Now, I would suggest if you've not done any wood burning before, go for the cheap one. Try it first and figure out what you like. The only thing I would say is make sure to get one that does have the dial and that you can adjust the heat. There are some really cheap ones that you can't do that. It's just a one heat burner it's not gonna be super helpful because you're not gonna be able to put a lot of detail in any of your work. So unless you're only wanting to do like lettering and very one color burns, I suggest going for uh, the wood burner with a, with an adjustable temperature. If you're looking for a more expensive burner, the top three brands most burnt wood burners have come to like and are quality burners are the coal wood, which is personally my favorite, but you also can get a razor tip and a Optima. So that's it for now for the burners. Now let's get to what are the tips and how do you use them? Really, there's a lot that goes into trying to learn how to wood burn. So I hope this video was informative, really helped you as you continue to grow and learn in this amazing medium. And if you have not already, make sure to subscribe. That way you don't miss any future videos of me working on different wood burning pieces, time lapse, uh, talking through how I create some of these pieces, as well as other videos that I will post about how to wood burn and different techniques. If you actually want to take a wood burning class and dive into different projects step by step with me, and you want to learn how to, to use different woods, how to use the nibs, and how do you create different textures and with different techniques, you can actually join my online wood burning class called Burning with the Xulon, and I'll put a link down in the subscription. Well, I'll see you guys next time.